This is your forecast for the month of July 2017. This is a general reading for Leo Sun, Leo Rising, or Leo Moon. If you have a different rising or moon sign, you might find watching those videos helpful or more informative for you. You can watch your reading in three different ways. The full extended monthly, or for just the energy influence, watch the brief. Or in addition to the brief, watch the weekly for the upcoming week. Weeklies also make it easy for you to review information you may have forgotten in the full reading. Please remember that these are general readings, and so they may not apply to everyone. If you would like a reading that is specific to you, please visit my website at thealchemistastrologer.com and I invite you to follow me on Facebook, Google+, and Instagram. Please also check out my pay-per-view channel, vimeo.com slash on demand slash finding love for monthly love readings. Now the second week you have uh, the temperance card, but this is a week where again this being in control of our lower self, our shadow self, our deeper instincts, and knowing how to practice some type of self-restraint, doing things in moderation, being tolerant of others, and having a balanced viewpoint. So for some of you, you may be calling upon your strength in order to reconcile with others, or make some compromises, or make some concessions, and it's going to be very important Important for you to focus on being fair and to release any sense of prejudice or bias about a situation. This is not a week to take an extreme position. Uh, this is about trying to find what's going to work, a fruitful combination, merging with others to come up with the right mix. And so there could be issues of compatibility. You may need to accommodate a situation or adapt to something in order to find some peace and some forgiveness. And if this is about your passionate instincts. You may need to balance your libido. This could also be, you know, you, maybe you've gotten comfortable with who you are sexually or intimately. Whatever the case, this is about healing in some way, a healing force. You coming in contact with healers, you being a healer yourself of some sort, there are issues of protection. Uh, and so perhaps you're seeking the strength to heal or you're working with healers in order to regain your strength. Uh, so this is about avoiding the extreme position. Uh, and again, issues that may connect to addictions or alcoholics or compulsive sexual behavior. Uh, this is a week of compromise and moderation. And it could be that in order to heal a situation, you're going to find, uh, you're going to need to have the strength and the ability to have a, an honest discussion with another person in a gentle way. You're, remember, the, the strength card is about wielding gentle influence, using the power of persuasion rather than force. So you may not agree on all points with another person, and yet you should be able to discuss your, your uh, points of difference without jeopardizing your relationship or without feeling as if you're, you're being judged or you're judging the other person. So this is not a week to be pushy, but it is important for you to clear the air and get some things off of your chest. Now, in the negative, you may make a misjudgment. You're, even though your instincts are sharp, you may miscalculate and be tempted to remain in a situation that's negative for you. Uh, and you're going to persuade yourself 
that it's the right thing to do, that you're doing it for the other person or you're doing it for the sake of yourself or you're, gonna, you're doing it to help out. But really the truth is, it's just an excuse because what doesn't work simply does not work. So if you're in a bad relationship, you can try to put that ribbon or bow on it and pretty it up. But the truth of the matter is you're just caught in a bad habit and you're making an excuse and you're taking your talents for granted. You're selling your yourself short. And once again, you're coming up on the short end of the stick. Now, this may center around, again, a romance or a, a new relationship or, or moving a, a connection to the next level. Or it could be that you have found someone that you're compatible with in a relationship and you feel a sense of exhilaration. Uh, whatever it is, this is about gaining that balance because... Remember, your, your body, your mind, your mental health, your emotional state is all tied together. So this is a week where it may be difficult for you to relax. You may find yourself having to contend with illnesses or rashes or ailments, and it's rooted in your emotional state of mind. Now, this is also a week for you to pay attention to your dreams at night. They have some kind of message for you. Uh, this is going to be a week where it may be difficult for you to focus, for you to find that right combination because you're more distracted. So you're having to call on your strength of concentration. It could be that you're acting on your impulses. You're mistaking that for your intuition and it's leading you in the wrong direction and hence the misjudgment. You say the wrong thing, you do the wrong thing, you buy the wrong thing, you're extravagant, you spend too much, you do something that costs you. Uh, so you have to be careful of, again, finding that balance, not being too extreme, not being excessive, not overreacting, not overdoing it, not having excessive ambition or impatience or being volatile, trying to force a situation or being inappropriate. Uh, this is a week for you to open yourself up to love and again, healing a situation, not judging others and not even judging yourself. You may discover that you've been harder on yourself than anybody around you.